yo 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 guys sorry for the issues just now about the crash and shit so you know let's do this you know let's do it oh my god thank god ah oh, crap i'm out of here man oh man thank god it's not because of that shit again Experiencing crash after this 1.0.4 update, really annoying. I had some lesser issues with that. So anyway guys, really really sorry, uh, don't worry, I'll, I think I'll trip out the videos, the past ones that has like those issues, damn man, seriously, it, it's, it's having a lot of problems right now, I'm like, this is the, f I mean this is considered a second crash already as you can see from that, but yeah, don't worry, I'll trip those parts out, so anyway, yeah, so that's why I say it's freaking annoying, I do not know what was the issue, seriously, 1.0.4 really really fucked it up a little bit. It would piss me off right there. I just hope it doesn't you know, have another like another doing of an undoing like that again. It's very annoying. I really hate it. <sighs> Jeez, guys, it's really sorry about that. I don't worry. Things will be trimmed out to a normal, normal one, so I'll, I'll be posting it regularly. Don't worry on that. But it'll be short, short like 30 minutes on that. But I feel like it crashes every 15 minutes to the game. I'm not sure. Gotta really check it out. I really gotta monitor what's actually going on and all. Alright, let's go with Run V. my love. The order in Winchester has been wiped out, but we are no longer welcome there. My contact was none other than King Alfred himself. The order wanted him dead, so he fought back. Alfred, the line between friend and enemy is a porous one. Okay, now that is done. I don't know what's. Avon, Sigurd wishes to speak with you. Something happened. You will have to speak with him now. Wait, oh shit, I think that's his room inside there, my bad. Time has come. Our time. Our time for what? My final glory awaits. Your final glory? I fear to ask what that means. Do I not speak plainly? My time in Midgard is done. I wish now to see the hall of my ancestors. If you wish to die, it will not be by my hand. I do not speak of death, Eivor. I speak of life, life and glory everlasting. 
I know I've been in a fog these last few weeks. I know I speak words you don't fully understand. But I only ask you trust me once more. On my final voyage back to Norway, to wish my father farewell and achieve my destiny. Back to Norway? I need to discuss this with Ranvi. If you must. I will await your answer down by the docks. Do not keep me waiting. Seems piss right there straight up. Good to see you, darling. See you too, mate. <laughs> I want to see the Alliance map. It may be time to return to Norway. Sigurd is eager to see his father and... And beyond that, I do not know. I have heard ill news about Styrbjorn in the past year. If you go, go with care. Let's do this. We'll leave now, and return as soon as we're able. Good. And be safe. Both of you. I guess you had to meet Sigurd in the docks. Let's get this thing done. Sigurd is a bit mad already with this, you know, things up there. Yeah, I really love this Thor hammer, man. It shrinks me the way it puts it in. That's the unique part of the, the thing right there. I want to check it out, so let's so you know, let's do this. Sigurd, shall we then, Eivor, to Norway and well beyond? To Norway, then. Good, good. Lead on. shaped us more than all the decades we spent here, brother. But it's bloody cold. Colder than I remember. Because it's always been cold. Fair hair's kingdom now. Every peak and fjord. It pains me to say it. To think it even. And our father, his fool. Poor man. It is a role he chose. He bent easily and broke in half. Do not pity him. No. For many moons I could not sleep, always thinking of his betrayal. The horrors I wished upon him. He deserves nothing but shame now. Put it out of your mind, Sigurd. There's no need to harm the old man. No. He must taste the same foulness that I taste. He must know what glory he missed by staying here, the lapdog of a conqueror. You want to speak with him? Yes. Face to face. I will tell him the truth. Starts. It thrives, in spite of our father, no doubt. Are you sure of this? I will say what needs to be said. Do you fear his rebuke? Oh, no. I crave it. 
It may be the old hound has lost his bark. Or it may be you'll light a fire beneath him, inspire him with tales of our glory. If I do, I'll stoke that flame until it burns. All right, that one was a that one was a lag. That was uh, it was just saving up. Yep. So that's good. That's good. That's a good thing about it. Aid me. Be my eyes. What was it, Randy said? Mm -hmm. What was it? Mm -hmm. Alright, look at that. Ah, man. This game really doesn't really update itself. There's gonna be some issues, man. Soaker, he never leaves. Wonder. Oh, shit. What was it Randy said? Our father spends his days in the meat halls and his nights on barren planks of wood. That's right. We'll search the meat halls. By the I way, remember one nearby. A sad hole, women. We should go. Look at him. Father. Blessing, come and let me look at you Stop. both. That is far enough. Blood of cheer. What happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This, this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood. We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could possibly interest me in this frozen backwater? Interest you? You robbed me of my wealth when you left for England. I presume you would do it again. Not my idea. You left us with nothing when you pledged for King Harald. We took only what we deserved. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only. To say goodbye. And to thank you for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father, as a king, as a man. For without it... I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my situation. It was your right to pledge your crown to another. And I know you did what you thought best for the safety of our clan. As Harald's forces advanced, I knew we did not have the strength to oppose him. We were too disorganized, too weak. With the sun ever absent, always off raiding in some far-flung land, never concerned with the duties of kingship. What choice did I have but to pledge my allegiance to him? A man with ambition and an army to match it. Absent? I acted only as the son of a king must, to earn you riches, to bring you glory, to praise your name. The people of Constantinople had no use for my name, Sigurd. I needed you here. Listen to this weeping old goat. I wish you whatever peace you may find in this new life you have found. I did not find it, Eivor. I chose it. The only way forward that did not lead to more violence and death and grief 
your father would have understood. He died to avoid a similar fate, to save his family at the cost of his reputation. No. My father, he... He was... He loved you. That is all. Arkur nonsense. I've heard enough. Sigurd, from the day you were born, I wanted nothing more than to pass on my title, my land, my people, to you. But one year is never like another, and with the passage of time, certain truths appeared, unavoidable. Ours was the last kingdom in Norway to resist Harald's advance. To oppose him would have been our death. You do not know that. We could have fought back. We could have, yes. And suffered countless deaths for no other reason than to protect our pride. We will never know the truth. Because you were too afraid to risk it. Look after him, Eivor. And if you have the chance, lead him back from the edge of the abyss. He is my brother, not my dog. Be well, old man, and serve your king with honor. This sad business is finished. A good riddance. And now we sail for further shores. To my true friends. To my destiny. To the end of my road. I will follow you as far as you wish in this world, brother. But if you mean to take us further, I may reconsider. I do not think you will, Eivor. I think you will marvel at what I have to show you. Alright guys, I think I'll stop the video right here. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And... alright. Still dwelling on your father? Not at all. I was only reflecting on my visions, wondering at them, how present they are, like memories of yesterday. Describe them for me, your visions. My earliest was of a large door embedded in ice, far north of Hördafilke. The saga stone embedded at the top of its arch. As the visions grew stronger, the door opened, revealing many things. The life tree Yggdrasil, the golden fields of Valhalla, and the faces of our gods, all of whom called me friend, brother, warrior. I felt at home among them, warmed by their love. You should know. You're not alone in this. I too have had visions. Have you? And what did they foretell? It is hard to say. I've seen Odin leading me into shadows. I've seen spinners weaving wild destinies from pools of blood. I saw the great beast Fenrir, the branches of the world tree, and a man with... Go on. Valka warned me of a great betrayal, but what form it takes I cannot say. I see. I hold to my oaths, Sigurd. You know that. Betrayal is not in my nature. Of course not. You are a stalwart as a pillar of stone. Come now. My destiny awaits. Alright guys, so sorry about that. I'll stop the video right here. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.